Hey YouTubers, more Rob Moffat. Guys, I purchased this little uh, cassette adopter for the car. I have an old car, 94 Corolla, a Moon Rover. <laughs> and uh, I like to play MP3 uh, music on my radio, but I can't because it's a tape cassette player. You buy this, you put it in your tape cassette and hook this into your MP3 player or your phone. You, you're supposed to be able to play your, your music on your radio. Unfortunately, whenever I plug this into my cassette player, it would eject immediately. I did some research on YouTube to see how I could fix it. And there's, I found like five or six people said, this is the culprit. There's a little rubber wheel in there and this is damaged. You got to clean it or straighten it out. And uh, I tried that, it didn't help at all. I found one person, they said, they just took it out and it works fine. I tried that, it works fine. <laughs> so I thought that would have made a great video, but I did it. But I'm gonna open this up and show you where this goes so you can easily take this wheel out. If you're putting your tape cassette adopter into your car, and it's immediately ejecting. I'll show you how to take out this wheel by putting it back in and show you where it goes. By the way, I'm using this Araya set. I've used this the last year, like to fix five or six things. It costs me about 24 bucks. It's really handy. It's got a bunch of tools to use on small appliances and electronic gear. And I, I really like it. I'll leave a link to it in the video description where you can get it on Amazon. Let's show you how to open up this sucker. When you get your cassette adopter, it's got two sides, obviously. If you open up on this side, all the wheels will stay in place. If you open on this side, it'll all fall out and go everywhere. So, at least on mine, you want to make sure you open on this side. There's six screws, two on this side, four on the other. Standard, pretty or normal. I'm going to remove them. You don't have to watch that. All right, there's the last screw. It's nice. This is magnetic. It holds them. Now... We want to open from this side. Just find a little knife or something that pry open. I have boop, boop, this little pry bar here. These cassette adopters, they have a little tape magnetic head there. And I think it takes a signal from your phone or mp3 player and then it just transfers it to your radio cassette player alrighty now, right here, right here is where that little wheel goes, that little rubber wheel. So when you open yours up, the cog goes down to, to engage with the other. It can slide back and forth right there. That's where that wheel goes. When you open up, that's where you're going to find it. But now, if you take it out and see that it is damaged or, or uh, dirty or something, you could just try cleaning and putting it back. But in my case, it was in perfect condition. And all I did was remove it. See, here's the wire goes to your tape head, and then this transfers the signal into your radio. So. That's how it works. You don't really need these. These wheels are really not, they don't serve any purpose. Also, um, I had no trouble ejecting the, uh, the the cassette, even though that rubber wheel was gone. And then, oop, you want to make sure that the wire is coming out the right way. Nope, oh, I didn't put the wire in wire right. 
There we go. Now it's in right. Okay, so now just put the screws back in and you're really done. So hope this was something helpful to you. If you purchase one of these, they're really inexpensive, but if they don't work, you feel like you'd wasted all your money. And I don't hear any uh, grinding noises or there's there's no interference with the music being played. Um, so and it doesn't seem to affect anything by having that wheel gone for mine. And it's just a regular radio cassette player and a 94 Corolla. So guys, this is something hopeful helpful to you if you have one of these. And I put on new videos every week. Been doing it for 13 years. Got 860 some videos. A bunch of playlists. And a bunch of cool people I feature on my channel. No relation to me. And on Fridays I do food. On Sunday I review things. And on Wednesday it's wild card. Whatever I want. And this particular Wednesday it was how to fix your cassette adapter. Alright guys. You all have a good day. Hope you're taking your vitamin D being safe. And uh, you all come back. Watch more videos. Take care. See you out there.